Welcome, I'm Marcus Stoddard, Director of Non-Invasive Cardiology. And you're here because you're going to have a test called a transesophageal echocardiography. Now, that's a long name, so we shorten it. We call it T, or TEE. That's the test you will be having today. TEE is an excellent procedure, and of course, I have a tremendous passion for it. It is a test that gives you information that you otherwise, in many cases, just cannot obtain. And once you obtain that information in an accurate manner, you feel confident in your next treatment goals for a patient, trying to improve their outcome. Preventing second strokes, for example, treating infections, closing holes in the heart so that doesn't become a problem down the road, or even fixing heart valves. So it's a diagnostic test, which means we don't treat with the test, but we figure out what the problem is, and what the likely solution would be to improve patient outcome. All right, let me tell you some things that you need to know prior to coming for your transesophageal echo, or TEE. One important thing is that you're fasting. That means you have nothing to eat or drink, typically after midnight, for at least six hours, so that your stomach is empty, so that the test will be tolerated well, and it's a safe test. So make sure that you remember to do that. Don't forget, don't have that cup of coffee in the morning. Let me now explain to you some of the things that you're likely to have done. You're Ms. Jones? Yes. Hi, Ms. Jones. This is Jones. You're brought to the T-Lab. You're going to meet the nursing staff. They're going to want to monitor your vital signs. So they'll be attaching wires to your chest and to your arms. You already have an IV in place where we can give our sedative medications. You're going to be laying typically in the left side with your head up a bit. And we'll do what's called a timeout. That just means we make sure we got everything ready to start. And once we start, we start administering the doses of medications serially to get you to the level where you don't care anymore and you're quiet and you're comfortable. That then allows us to start really the procedure per se. That's where we pass a probe about the size of my finger over your tongue down into your esophagus and the esophagus is your swallowing tube. The tip of that probe that is placed has an ultrasound camera and we just take the pictures. TE, I think about it in one of three ways. We're trying to make the study accurate, that's quality. We're trying to make you comfortable for the whole procedure. But most paramount, we want it to be safe. So those are the three elements that we bundle together to have a successful procedure for you. The stones were all done. How are you feeling? Okay. We're Will all you done. Ready to do it? Yeah, we did it. We're finished. It didn't take very long, and very importantly, the test turned out well. I didn't find any problems, and I'll let your family know as well. And obviously, okay. we'll get a report to your doctor. All right. Okay. During the actual procedure, maybe take about 45 minutes to an hour. That's where the probe is inserted. It's in for about 20 minutes or less. And then we have you recover here in the T-Lab for about 30 minutes. Once that's done, we'll take you to our formal recovery area, which may be an additional hour. The whole procedure from the point where you're registering, brought to the lab, procedure done, recovering, three, three and a half hours, and then you're ready to go home. Are you here with Ms. Jones, Mary yes. Jones? Good. But you must have a driver because you still will have potentially some effects from the medications. Vast majority of patients don't, but just in case you're one of those rare people who does, we don't want you doing anything hazardous for 24 hours after you've had those sedative medications. About an hour from now, she'll probably be going home. You're gonna be driving her today? Yes, I'll Great. be driving oh, her home. So usually within a day or two, your healthcare provider will have the results. And you can either call them for the results or if it's previously arranged, they'll be contacting you for further follow-up visits to discuss what the results may mean. You know, it's been a pleasure serving you today. Our staff, I know, are thrilled. They enjoy and love what they do because it makes an impact in the care of each individual that we see. Hopefully, follow up with your healthcare provider, and they'll give you even more detailed information. It's been our pleasure. Thank you.